It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dogino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 27, 2020 1 Corinthians 10 verses 5 to 12 But with many of them God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples, to the intent we should not lust after evil things, as they also lusted. Neither be yet idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur yet, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happened unto them for ensamples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Let him that thinks he standeth take heed lest he fall. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy God would have his people in these days review with a humble heart and teachable spirit the trials through which ancient Israel passed, that they may be instructed in their preparation for the heavenly Canaan. Many look back to the Israelites, and marvel at their unbelief and murmuring, feeling that they themselves would not have been so ungrateful, but when their faith is tested, even by little trials, they manifest no more faith or patience than did ancient Israel. Patriarchs and Prophets page 293 Paul knew that his warfare against evil would not end so long as life should last ever he realized the need of putting a strict guard upon himself that earthly desires might not overcome spiritual zeal with all his power he continued to strive against natural inclinations it was this single-hearted purpose to win the race for eternal life that Paul longed to see revealed in the lives of the Corinthian believers. He knew that in order to reach Christ's ideal for them, they had before them a life struggle from which there would be no release. He entreated them to strive lawfully, day by day seeking for piety and moral excellence. He pleaded with them to lay aside every weight and to press forward to the goal of perfection in Christ. Paul pointed the Corinthians to the experiences of ancient Israel, to the blessings that rewarded their obedience, and to the judgments that followed their transgressions. He reminded them of the miraculous way in which the Hebrews were led from Egypt under the protection of the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. Thus they were safely conducted through the Red Sea, while the Egyptians, essaying to cross in like manner, were all drowned. By these acts God had acknowledged Israel as his church. The Hebrews, in all their travels, had Christ as a leader. The smitten rock typified Christ, who was to be wounded for men's transgressions, that the stream of salvation might flow to all. By Ellen White Acts of the Apostles, pages 314 to 315 Our prayer for today. Our Father in heaven, we are not worthy to approach you because we are sinners. Forgive us of our sins. 
Thank you for answering our prayer. We pray, Father for your abiding presence in our lives through the Holy Spirit. Write your law in our hearts and minds. Protect us from all dangers that Satan brings in our midst. May the Holy Spirit gives us the power to overcome our weaknesses. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.